In the last video I made, I said thank you for 300 subscribers. Since then, we have doubled that number and we're almost at 700, which is crazy to think about. First of all, welcome to all the new players of Into the Radius who just got this game on the Meta Quest 2. Secondly, I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads to the channel. My original VR headset was just not running very well and I had to get a new one. So hopefully uploads will be a little bit more frequent this time instead of, you know, once a month. <laughs> so without further delay, let's see what Into the Radius 2.4 Beta has to offer. Probably the biggest addition to this update is the four new weapons you get. We have two more pistols and two more rifles. Starting off with pistols, we have the Glock 18. It's almost identical to the Glock 17, however the biggest difference is the firing modes. The Glock 18 comes in two firing modes, which is single shot and full auto. It's just like the OC33, however this one's a lot more controllable. This would have been one of my favourite pistols to use, however, I think the next one is a lot better. Which is probably one of the most iconic weapons of all time, the Desert Eagle. The Desert Eagle comes with a 9 round mag capacity and is chambered in 357 Magnum. And that would be the first one to admit, this gun looks a bit silly in this game, however, I just love it. Up next we have a brand new assault rifle called the FN FAL. The FAL comes with a 20 round mag capacity and it shoots in 762 by 51 It has two firing modes being single shot and full auto. Up next we have a brand new DMR B in the M14. The M14 has a 20 round mag capacity and it shoots in the same calibre being 762 by 51 These are 4 great additions to this game. Let me know which one's your favourite. I've played this update for about 3 hours now and I've only had this happen once to me so maybe it's a really rare thing. Even with the highest durability your weapon can still jam. Here's me using the M14 for the very first time. So much like real life, a well cleaned gun can still jam which I very much appreciate. But there's also a chance that I might be just crazy and I don't know what I'm talking about and it could be just a bug. Alongside with the new weapons we have a new movement system. And I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what this type of movement system is referred as. This brand new movement system is for players who suffer from motion sickness. So people who originally cannot play the game beforehand now have a chance to play it now for the new movement system. However, the developers did overlook some aspects of the system. And what I mean is you can literally go from one side of the map to the other in seconds without taking a break. With Into the Raiders standard movement system, your guy runs out of stamina pretty Nah, relatively fast. <laughs> I swear to god I'm not able to talk properly. As I was saying, into the radius standard movement system, your stamina runs out relatively fast, forcing you to move at a snail's pace until your stamina is recovered. As I said, this is probably just an oversight, but this changes this game's pacing dramatically. 
This new movement system is legit the definition of running away from your problems. Here's a small clip of me running through Coco Zara and deciding that I do not want to be there anymore. That took just over 30 seconds and everyone knows you would never be able to get past the field if you're on the standard movement system. Now to be fair, this only happens if you don't use the full length of the teleport you have. Alongside with a new movement system, we also have new places of interest. These places of interest, however, are very minor. They're just there to add more to the map. Now, if you're watching this video, the game is no longer in the beta, so you can now play the full release of 2.4 right now if you really want to and that is it for the video what's your favorite part about this update what is your favorite gun and do you like going fast so thanks again for watching the video i really do appreciate all the support i've been given and welcome to everyone who just got the game and who have subscribed to the channel the next video that i make will be a little bit different and i think anyone who enjoys into the radius will enjoy this so please keep a lookout for that video i think it might be a pleasant surprise and for those who aren't aware i stream over on twitch at twitch.com vr studs where i play a huge variety of games recently i've been playing a lot of horror games so if you're interested in seeing me getting scared come check it out again thank you to everyone who showed up i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next video oh no steam Oh, fuck me!